With Amex Gold, you can experience the gold standard. You get access to exceptional dining, plus four times membership rewards points on eligible dining purchases. That's the powerful backing of American Express. Terms apply. Cap applies. Learn more at americanexpress.com slash with Amex. It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG-13, suggesting that children under the age of 13 should listen accompanied with an adult. Masks. We haven't seen carnage like this since the game in '89 when the Bullcat Gatorade was spiked with hallucinogenic drugs. That was America's bloodiest day. Oh my, aren't you just the cutest thing? What adorable little costume you have. A fairy princess, cowboy, and oh my, you little devil, be careful with that pitchfork. <laughs> Here are some lovely homemade chocolates for you. Who is that, dear? Just some of those adorable trick-or-treaters. It's so nice to see children carrying on these old-time traditions. With all this technology nowadays, these cell phones and, and internets and cables and things, I think we can lose touch too easily with the joy of simple living. You're absolutely right, Marjorie. Although I will say that TV does have its merits. Maybe for you, Mr. Armchair Sportsman. But I think there's just so much garbage on TV today. Foul language, feminine hygiene products, commercials for men who can't... Well... And now some of these shows even have nudity. It's disgraceful. Can't argue with you there, dear. Well, why don't we take a break tonight and listen to the radio instead? Like in those golden days of yesteryear. I'll shut off the TV. Ah, how about this? A good old-fashioned radio show. Oh, and in Piedmont, no less. That's just in the next county. I just love it when these radio dramas mention my hometown. So few things ever seem to happen there. Well, let's give it a listen. I remember my father telling me about when War of the Worlds was broadcast. Sent people into such a panic. Boy, these guys sure sound real. Authorities reported that a large metal sphere of some sort crashed near the Doherty farm out on Route 6. A one-acre long strip of crops was scorched during the impact. We will update you on further developments as they... Wasn't there a fella who actually lived out that way by the name of Hmm. Doherty? Come to mention it, the name does ring a bell. I'm not sure, though. Been a long time since I lived in Piedmont. You mean since I came and took you away on our wedding day? (laughs) Oh, Ted, you were so handsome. Shiny new car, crisp black suit, hair slicked back, all sophisticated from a fine education in the big city. How could a girl say no? Ah, must be more of those little darlings looking for their candy. I should play with them this time and tell them I have no candy. See if they can come up with a clever trick. (laughs) Well, just be careful it isn't one of those fellas in a bad Shatner mask with a machete, dear. Oh, Ted... This isn't Hattonfield. Yo, trick or treat! Oh dear, it seems you've forgotten your costume, young man. No, lady, these are our costumes. We're rappers. Rappers? Oh please, those aren't real Halloween costumes. And pillowcases? You don't even have proper trick or treat bags. Oh, I've heard of you people. Coming in from the inner city out to the suburbs, just trying to get free candy and then do Lord knows what when you don't get anything. Well, I'll tell you right now, 
I'm not giving you any candy, and my husband is nearby. He used to work as a secret government agent, so you better not try anything funny. All right, yo, chill out, lady. If y'all don't believe us, we'll show you what we mean by rappers. How about a nice light supper then, eh? Doggone illegal Tafarian space trash. They'd like to wrap up in fake skins to blend in with the locals, then cause all kinds of trouble. Always looking for a handout. You're listening to Audio Theater in a Darker Shade. This is DarkerProject.com. Masks was written by Mark Kalita. Mark Kalita was the sports announcer. Victoria Sampson was Marjorie Griffin. Draven Schoberg was Kid 1. Kyra Greenfield was Kid 2. Gary Cobham was Ted Griffin. Mark Brzee was the radio announcer. Ellie Hirschman was Visitor 1. And Chris Snyder was Visitor 2. The series was produced by Paul Mannering and Chris Snyder. This episode was directed by Bill Holwig and Mark Kalita. Post-production by Bill Holwig. The executive producer for Darker Projects is Eric Busby. This has been a Darker Projects production. Classical and brand new audio dramas through the Mutual Audio Network. Subscribe through Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Spotify, or iHeartRadio today. There's eight different podcasts, one for each day of the week and genre. And the Mutual Audio Network broadcast feed so you don't miss a day of your favorite shows. Subscribe to Mutual Audio tonight. Good night!